Robotics is an elective for middle school students at the Cabelli School. This semester, I have about 13 students in my class, some with no programming experience at all, and some with quite a bit. The semester starts out with about a month of just learning the basics of programming through a platform developed by MIT called Scratch. The students really love this unit, and I found the less structured I make it, the more impressive the work is that they produce. We recently started working with the robots, and most students have finished their project where they learned how to use the motors to move the robots. My general philosophy in this class is that there's practically no whole group instruction. It doesn't seem to make sense with such a varying group of experience among the students. Instead, I've designed small projects that the students go through at their own pace, and I set deadlines to keep some accountability. This is challenging and goes against my desire to keep everyone in lockstep. I feel I have less control like this, and it's not without its growing pains. Some students that get ahead will sometimes have less of a sense of urgency about working on the next project, but that's not the case with most students. A lot of them are really excited to continue learning more. On each project page, I'll provide a couple of YouTube videos that give the gist of the new sensor or concept they're learning. They watch it and they give it a try themselves. I end up roaming the room, usually working with students who run into technical difficulties. When it comes to programming the robot, I will rarely tell a student exactly how to do it. I'll usually give them a few starting ideas or just tell them what to Google. Though I don't consider myself a computer scientist, I know it's a field that learning what to do when you don't know what to do is critical. This week, about half the students are starting their second project, where they program their robot to tell a story or a joke. I want them to learn how they can use the touch sensors or buttons on the robot to trigger some type of action. That action will include telling some kind of joke or story, incorporating some sounds into it, and include manipulating some of the lights on the robot. Robotics has become one of my favorite classes to teach. I'd love for my math classes to be as freeform and self-directed as things are in robotics, and I do feel I'm moving in that direction a little bit more each year.